In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. So in school, often we'll take this calcium hydroxide solution here and bubble a gas through it. And if we form this calcium carbonate, which is a solid, that's a good test whether we have carbon dioxide gas in whatever gas we're bubbling through. So let's write the net ionic equation for the CaOH2 plus CO2. The first thing we do with net ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. In this case, this reaction, this equation, it's already balanced. So that step's done. The next step is we write the state for each substance. Calcium hydroxide is kind of interesting. It's considered a strong base, but not a lot of it dissolves. But what does dissolve dissociates completely. So we're going to say that this is aqueous. It's going to split apart into its ions, at least the part that dissolves. Carbon dioxide is a gas. And then if you know your solubility rules, carbonates are most often insoluble. That means that they don't dissolve in water. Calcium carbonate dissolves just a very little bit. So we're going to call this a solid. It's insoluble, and we'll actually have it fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well. Water, that's going to be a liquid. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us this complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. On the periodic table, calcium is in group 2. It has a 2 plus ionic charge. The hydroxide ion, the whole thing, has a 1 minus. Good one to remember. So we have calcium, Ca2 plus. I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus 2 of these hydroxides, so 2 OH minus. In net ionic equations, we don't split solids, gases, or liquids apart. So we have CO2, that's our gas here, and these are the reactants. The products, we end up with CaCO3, that's a solid, so we don't split it apart, and we don't split liquids apart either, so we just have H2O. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. When we do net ionic equations, the next thing we do is cross out spectator ions. They're the same on both sides. But in this case, there's nothing that's the same on both sides. All of these compounds here are different. So the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. Let me clean it up, add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation and the balanced complete ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gas. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus here, 2 times the 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So these cancel out. This is a net charge of 0. Over here, everything's neutral, net charge of 0. The atoms, if you count them up, are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus CO2. Thanks for watching.